When I saw the Battlefield 5 was gonna be World War II themed, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh my goodness, oh my damn. All those years playing these shitty Russian developed wool or whatever the fuck games has finally paid off. And I finally got a Battlefield back in World War II, boys. Where are we dropping? Oh man, I was so happy about it. World War II is the perfect setting for a large scale sandbox sort of style shooter like Battlefield. Cause you got maps in a wide variety of settings to keep things interesting. Equipment and weapons that bring the gunplay back to the basics. Get your, get your fucking laser sights out of here, okay? Unique factions and all the unique strategies and tactics that they brought with them as well as spice up the game thematically. One game you could be parachuting into Western Europe, the next you're skulking through the snow in the east or the jungles in the Pacific. Plus there's all sorts of avenues for creative storytelling and whatever single player EA adds too. With rich and interesting characters like Tracer from Overwatch, Anime Convention Dude, Crack Addict, German jawline, villain man, Disney's Mulan, and some guy I went to high school with. A lot of people have made the argument of inclusion of women and minorities in a World War II game one about politics. And anyone who has an objection to the factual accuracy of identity depictions in the game have been caricatured as actually fedora tipping types who are having a hard time getting laid anyway, so of course they don't want whammon in their video game. It's a bit ironic that many people objecting to what EA is doing here from a historical standpoint i.e. the people who actually know the history of World War II are actually pretty educated on the nature of how women and minorities were involved in World War II and why it was a very important catalyst for changes that took place during the civil rights movement in the West. For example, African American soldiers would find themselves in segregated companies as well as the targets of race-based discrimination and harassment both from their own peers and from those in command. On American territory, those of Japanese descent were segregated into internment camps to quell suspicions of spies and sympathizers of Imperial Japan, but there were still Asian American troops that fought bravely in American uniforms. Native Americans helped the American effort in the Pacific greatly as code talkers. Complex and obscure Native American tons were used to decipher American communications, making them virtually impregnable by Japanese listeners. There were many women who fought as partisans in resistance movements against the Nazis across Europe, and the Red Army fielded many women snipers and pilots. People who actually understand the history also understand that there are plenty of avenues for Patrick Sodolin to work with if he is concerned about his daughter's feelings on being able to play as a woman in a World War II game as well as another popular shooter, Fortnite. At some point, our friend Mr. Sodolin, then chief design officer for EA, went on record to say that these people are uneducated and don't understand that this is a plausible scenario. Aside from every word of this statement being completely incorrect, Soderlin manages to overlook that what a fedora tipper lacks in knowledge of women in general, they make up for in knowledge about World War II, or at least I think. Either accept it, he said, or don't buy the game. Oops. A lot of people are just complaining about the game's aesthetic. A lot of people are saying it's more of a dystopian future Metro 2033 alternate history looking kind of thing. And honestly, if I looked at some of these pictures out of context, I would believe it. Only one normal looking dude with a helmet was shown off in the recent trailer. And to me, that shows that DICE and EA are more concerned about making money. If DICE and EA were trying to tell an interesting and impactful story about race and about women, this is honestly just discrediting the efforts of people who existed in reality, and it also discredits the notion that they actually care about this topic. Because if they did, they'd be trying to tell the truth, not make up crap, and say, it's an alternate take, and if you don't like it, fuck you, bigot. Even if the game is flawlessly built in terms of mechanics, it's gonna take a lot for EA and DICE to make up for this PR nightmare that they've created for themselves. And if the game flops, it's their fault. Not ours.